Hey everybody, good morning. Um, it's not quite afternoon yet here in Michigan, so yay, it is morning. So um, I am going to um, go ahead and start, even though no one is quite here yet, because I, I don't announce the times for my Saturdays um, yet. I may do that when I retire, but right now I just kind of wing it so that my husband and I can plan our day. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Oh, good. I see a couple of you have joined. So um, today's Saturday sip. I'm actually going to show a card. I, I can't remember if I showed this card previously. If I did, it is so worth sharing again. Um, also, because the die is retiring. So I put out a couple of the things we're going to use. Um, I, I used the Best Year stamp set which is not retiring, but it is, it's in the bundle with the die that's retiring. And that's, that's this die. This die I think has always been overlooked. It's called the best plaid builder. And these are what it is just two. These are what the pieces look like. And it is, it is an awesome, awesome die. It really is the best plaid builder. So um, if you don't have it, you might want to consider it, especially because it was $44. But right now, um, because it's going to be retired, it's $35. So it's number 152720 in case you want that. It is in the catalog bundled with the, um, the best year die. But I understand there's been some difficulty ordering bundles. I don't know why. But um, if you have any questions, let me know. You can email me or um, just message me here. So <clears throat> the other dies that I'm going to be using, which is retiring, and this one I think is like a mega deal. Um, it comes with this awesome tree, which actually, you know, goes the other way. And then three words, um, adventure, spring, and forever. And then this really cool, like um, almost like a dandelion type um, die. This one is really cool also. And it was um, $35. It's 60% off. So it's only $14 right now. Um, it is called Sweet Silhouettes. And it's number 149541. Um, love this die. Love it. Then the or I'm also using the Ornate Frames, which is not, this is not going away. So... Um, and you'll just see it has all kinds of frames. You know, I like my frame dies. So I wanted you to be aware. I'm using that. I'm using probably the world's, uh, everybody's favorite. This is our favorite, like, designer series paper. Um, I'm trying to remember what it's called now. Forever Greenery. So this is also retiring. You've seen me use it quite a bit, too. So I set these aside. And I'm going to show you, <coughs> excuse me, I'm so sorry. Um, this is the scrapbook page that I made. What a mess. And I used it with, oh, I didn't grab the Forever Greenery set. Let me grab that right now. This is not retiring. It's the Forever Fern and the Forever Fern dies. I'm also using that today. And you can see them here. Here's the um, Forever from the um, silhouettes die but this background here this white trellis that was actually made with the plaid builder and um, I will tell you how I did that um, if you want to extend a die okay I'm going to just grab my my little one I'm telling you this because I'm going to get to a card, I promise. But I just, I love, love, love this die set so much. And I wish I had used it more so you guys would, you guys would see what I'm talking about. So, will that fit in there? It won't. I need my big one. I'll just give you the idea of how it works then. So I don't have to move and go get my, my larger one. So, assume this is on the bigger, the, um, the bigger cut and emboss machine. So what I did to do that was I started out like normal, okay? Um, I would use a bigger piece. I just cut this one for the sample and I lined it up so that it is gonna get all these windows, okay? I would set it on, 
on the plates, obviously on the bigger one. And then what I did was I would um, turn this sideways so I'm sure you guys are seeing it all. So when I cut it out and I'm cutting it like normal, right? I put my top plate to stop right there. Then when it cut out, it did not cut out this edge. It didn't, I didn't get those funky little ends popping off. Then I moved the die down or the, the paper down and I was able to line it up again. And I didn't, again, I didn't want it to cut off because these dies like cut it off. Here, let me show you the one that's cut out. This is what the die looks like when it's completely cut out. So it will pop off the edges. And I didn't want it to do that because I was making a long trellis, right? So imagine that this is what's cut out. When I lined it up again like this, I'm hoping you guys can see that. Then when I put the top plate on, I put the top plate away from there so it didn't cut it off. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, this was going to be a long um, demo that I had planned, but with it retiring, I just want to I just want to hurry up and show you guys some of my favorite retiring things because they're awesome and I I just so many of them I'm so sad. Stitch shapes is killing me. It's just killing me that that's going away. You will probably see me still use stitch shapes and things, especially when I make kits and things for, I've got some classes and stuff planned for the new catalog. So, so you will still see it. Because, I mean, it's not like I throw away everything or sell everything. I don't. But anyway, that is the stamp set. And then these are all cut out with the Forever Fern dies. This, um, this little one here does not have a matching stamp to it. So what I did was, if you can pull this out, if you can see the little flowers here, that's the die. And I colored the vellum, they're on vellum. So I'm gonna show you how to color the vellum today. That's one of the things we are doing. So let me get these out of the way. Okay, so now I am going to show you how I colored the vellum. Let me find my spare piece. Here are, here are the pieces I'm gonna be using today, but I have, you know, I have everything in a pile and then the pile gets tossed around. Okay, so what I did was I stamped it with the Memento Black ink onto the vellum and then um, I need a scrap. Hang on. Okay, I will use this. And then I, so this is the side that was stamped on. So now I'm gonna flip it over, okay? I'm going to take the, um, I think these are retiring too because it's the pretty peacock in color which is going away. So what I like to do is I like to test what does the color look like on the vellum. So I take the dark and the light and then I flip it over and decide. They're not too terribly different, but I think I like the lighter one a little bit more. So I'm gonna start with the lighter one, flip it back over to the back side, take the brush end, and I'm just going to color it in. Doesn't look like much at the moment. I'm going really fast, so this may not be really perfect. You can run a line. I'm gonna actually do that so you guys can maybe see better. I didn't do it on the ones, but I wanted you to see. So now you can see that there's color. Now I'm looking at that going, eh, it's okay color. So I'm gonna grab the dark and I'm gonna add a little bit more. So this is kind of what I did. And I'm just adding it in places. And you don't have to be perfect because um, when you're doing it on the back of the vellum, it's pretty forgiving. Now, I just did that really quick for you guys, but can you see now? Now it's given my leaf. I'm hoping you guys can tell the difference. It has given my leaf a little bit more dimension. Okay, so I did that, and then I cut them all out. I kind of pre-stamped pre, pre -stamped everything. 
so that you guys wouldn't have to sit and watch me color because it's not like you haven't seen me do that before. <clears throat> I also decorated the back of the envelope, which you guys have seen me do. So now what I've done was I cut out this piece and then this vellum piece and I am going to put them onto some of our basic white cardstock. Now I I did cut, I think I cut this one out. I cut this one out with putting the um, the adhesive sheets on the back, but I didn't want to do that with the vellum. So with the vellum, I am going to just, um, I know my design, so you kind of have to think ahead. And there's going to be something in the center-ish area. So I am going to put some adhesive on the back of this. I don't know if I'm in camera right now. Probably not. But I just put it in a couple of places. And I'm going to put this, and you see I have a really big piece of white because I'm going to trim it down. Because I, uh, lining it up and everything, it's, you know, not my forte. But if you can see this, and I'm hoping you can, when you line this up, the squares actually go into the blank holes. Does that make sense? So I'm going to mat it on this piece of four by five and a quarter. So I want it cut smaller than that. And I'm going to want to try to center it. So I know that I'm going to want it to be three and three quarters. That's a lot of math for me. So here's two. I'm thinking this is the center line. I'm thinking um, four, two is half. I'm going to go to um, seven eighths, which if you um, look, it's right there. It's two little notches before the two. You may need to cut a few times because you're going through a few layers. And before I move it, yep, there we go. Then I can flip it over and I should have three and three quarters pretty even. Eh, maybe not. Maybe I'm not that even, so I'm going to scoot it over because it doesn't matter. I want it to be fairly even, Stephen. Do you guys wing it? Because I wing it a lot. Like, you're all like, no kidding, Carrie. We are so aware. Okay, so now I'm going to want that one smaller. Okay, so now here's the cool part is because these were sticky, they're kind of holding the vellum in place. I mean, I did put that adhesive in the center, um, but but um, it kind of it kind of holds it pretty good. So let me move my scraps. All right, now I'm going to put the card together for you. I have this cut out, and I'm going to layer it. Of course, this is just as pretty if you use like. Um, colors. If you look in the annual catalog where it is, it shows them using it with um, multiple colors. You can kind of, they even show it where you use a couple of, of the framed ones. And I'm going to show you what happens to all these holes that you have cut out with the frames. I've got samples to show you, so don't go away. I'm going to set that right in the center. And then I am going to put it onto a piece of basic white thick cardstock, which I think I've told you guys before, but when you're using thick, either the uh, vanilla or the white thick cardstock, you should score it before you try to fold it. And that is true of other dark colors, basic black, um, even, even this um, pretty peacock is pretty dark. I would probably score that too. Um, scoring is always a good idea before you fold, but um, I know sometimes it's easier just to grab it and fold it. But on these super thick ones, score it. Trust me. So now I'm going to um, just adhere this to the front with our awesome seal. Center that. So far so good, right? Then I have these pieces and this so... I want to create a design and I, I'll show you the card that I'm copying. 
this is one you may have seen before. So it's slightly different. It's on um, Arena Mist, I believe. So I'm going to put a lot of adhesive behind this because this is a circle, but um, oval stitch shaped. What can I tell you? You know I love it. I love it. I'm so sad. So I'm just going to put a lot of adhesive back here because it's going to be covered up anyway. And then I can look at this and I can kind of play with where things are going to go. Okay, so that's how I got that on there. Now, when I go back over this with more adhesive, it's going to be holding my little um, leaf things in place as well. And I like that the leaves are loose. I didn't, I don't want to, um, you can, but I, I like them flippy. You know, I just think it's kind of cool. Okay, so there's that. Then... I pre-stamped and pre-cut out. This is what that ornate frames dies. And this white piece comes with it. And it matches. If you look, it matches. So um, I pre-did that for you guys. Because there's other things. I want to show you the other samples. Um, and you know it's Saturday. So I know you guys don't want to be here all day. So I'm going to set that on there. And then I have a piece of our pretty peacock ribbon, which is also retiring. Come on. I didn't bring my take your, your pick tool with me. I would trim this bow maybe a little bit more. So there is the card. Do you like it? I like it. I think it's really cool. So um, this actually goes better with this, with this one than it does with this one. But let me show you some other ideas. Remember I said that there's holes. So when I made this card, I actually made it in three colors. And these are the holes from this. Pretty cool, huh? So great, simple, simple, simple card. And you know we don't throw anything away because that would be dumb. When I did the scrapbook page, I did it all in white. So I had a ton of white. So I put all the white ones here, fun. And then when I punched this one out, I had the pretty peacock. So you can see that there is um, so many, so many fun, fun ways to use this die. It's just, oh, it's just so freaking awesome. And you don't want to throw away your scraps. And like I said, um, you can take this and you can then move like the um, the frames around. So so you've got frames here, you've got frames there. Um, you could move it again and do, you know, like a different plaid. You can make all kinds of plaids with this. Like that's why it's called Plaid Builder because you can just keep building up plaids. So those are my samples, but there's a couple of other things I want to tell you today. Um, first, y'all know I love my Stamparatus, and in July, I had my Stamparatus special that included this awesome Stamparatus bag. Um, if you have not seen this bag, it's got um, a, a snap pocket in the front. And then, um, yeah, there's nothing, but there's like a key fob holder here. And one on the front, too. Actually, those aren't key fob holders. I never used the shoulder strap, and that's why I forgot. It comes with a shoulder strap, which hooks to those. But inside, it's for holding your Stamparatus. So this big one is for the base. And then you've got a place to keep your two separated um, plates. And even if you don't have the Stamparatus, this is just an awesome, awesome bag. And this bag was normally $29. It is on clearance right now for $11.60, $11.60. I mean, holy Hannah, that is like amazing. And it has the double zippers. So, you know, you can zip either direction or right up through the center. I had to show you that because I was very excited about that. So lastly, um, Thursday we had our make along. 
So it's time for a new make along. And this is what you need. Our make along is going to be on Thursday, April 16th at 6 30 p.m. And I will, um, I'm holding this, hoping you guys are getting a snapshot of it so you will know what to have prepared. It is going to be another fun fold. For the base color, you can bring an 8.5 by 11 because I'm going to show you how to trim it down to the 8.5 by 9. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sure you know how to do that. But anyway, it also says that I used the stitch shape dies. I did. It's just breaking my heart. But I gave you the sizes so you guys know. Because I plan these things in advance. I mean, I have, this was planned to go later. And I, I, I had to pull it in today because I love it. Anyway, so that is the free make-along um, that's coming up. And I hope that you guys liked the cards today and the awesome, awesome um, best plaid builder die set. Ugh, so freaking cool. So um, anyway, if you have any questions, please let me know. Please feel free to share this video and then write, um, re like, a like, blah, sorry, I'm having a day. <laughs> A comment that you shared because I do um, have a prize every month for people who shared um, and just so you know I did order another um, stitched shape die so when that comes I'll probably be giving that away sometime in the future um, love that die but I wouldn't wait you could still go get it um, if and if I were you I would go get it <laughs> okay um if you are watching this live then please make sure you go and follow me here if you are not and you're watching it on one of the other venues or where someone has shared you can follow me on facebook.com forward slash memory inkers if you want to place your orders you're going to go to my website which is carriebeglow.stampinup.net and right now the hostess code is jme V R X P X, and you want to use that hostess code because this month I am giving away a um, a probably a stamp set that you hadn't seen before. It's called Four Season Floral. It was in the um, beginners brochure, which not everybody got, and it is slightly used, but it's really cute. So um, you get the stamps, and you can see it's slightly used. And then I made four cards because it also had this awesome card kit that matched it. So um, I've, you'll have four pre-made cards, eight envelopes, and enough to make four additional cards with this awesome set. And I'm going to be giving that away. It originally was a $24 value because the cards were $10 and the stamps were $14. But now the cards are 40% off and the stamp is 60% off. So now it's $11.60. So, um, but it's free for someone um, who has placed an order this month of at least $30. Um, plus you'll be getting um, a little thank you gift from me also. So I hope you will come back again to watch me here live. Make sure you set your notifications to know when I go live. I will be back on Tuesday for a Tiny Tip Tuesday. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to squeeze so much in with the retired stuff. So I think you're going to love, love the Tiny Tip Tuesday. I was excited about it. Um, so, but I get excited about everything. I know it's crazy. But um, have a lovely, lovely day and wonderful weekend. And I hope to see you guys back here soon. Bye.